Hello everyone and welcome to day 12 of Whiskey Wars. If you're liking these videos, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe or share the video with a friend, it really helps me out. Um, okay, so today we're reviewing the Isle of Sky 8 year old blended scotch whiskey. Um, and this is bottled by and distilled by Ian McLeod Distillers which have featured quite regularly on the channel. In fact, since the Isle of Skye is an island wh whiskey, um, this could be quite a nice comparison to the Ian McLeod Island single malt. So this, the difference is this one's just from the Isle of Skye, but it's also a blend. Um, whereas the, the, the one on day one was just a single malt. And, but this one is an eight year old, so I'd imagine the one we're trying today will be a little bit older. Ooh, much darker in colour already. Ooh, very different on the nose to what I remember from the island. Much more red fruits coming through on the nose, I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting a um, a sweeter than what I'm used to, Island whiskey, just because um, a lot of these Ian McLeod whiskies have been sweeter than what I'm used to, uh, apart from the Smokehead. Red grape, real real red wine um, flavour on the nose there. I'm trying to think, is there any coastal notes that I'm thinking before I go in due to it being an island whiskey? The the other whiskey, notably from the Isle of Skye, is Talisker, um, which I'm not a huge fan of, but I, there's a huge amount of uh, salt and cracked black pepper, and I'm trying to see if I get that on the nose, but I'm not doing the, the, there is salt there, so I, I can tell it is coastal, but that cracked black pepper, I'm not getting. Or if I am, it's subtle. Onto the taste. Oh. Wow. Very different to what I thought. What proof is this? Okay, so this is also 40%. Very woody on the taste, um, which is something that none of the Ian McLeod whiskies have had, actually. Um, really, really woody. Oaky. It's just on the finish. That finish is just wood. It's just oak. Charred oak. which I don't mind, I quite like that if I'm being honest. It's sweet uh, initially, um, but whereas I was getting red wine, red grapes on the nose, um, more of a, you know, caramel sort of sweetness, uh, not really a fruit dominant sweetness on the taste. So um, quite a bit different to the nose because I wasn't getting wood on the nose either. This whiskey, that I forgot to mention is not just a blend of island malts but also space side malts as well so perhaps that red fruit note I was getting on the nose is derived more from the space side um, blends than the island blends that being said that huge oakiness and saltiness is definitely coming from um, the island blends but maybe a bit of that wood spice is coming from a sherry cask that's in one of the space side blends um overall it's not rather interesting um and i'd give this one a miss